Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Valentine's Day themed product video. Everything is like red, pink, berries, that sort of thing to create a pretty Valentine's Day look. And as usual, all of these products are cruelty free to the very best of my knowledge. And I do want to take a moment to say happy Valentine's to you and all of your loved ones. I hope you have a really splendid day and a great rest of your February. Okay, so I have a giant basket of these. I'm going to go through these a little bit quicker just so that we get through them. They're not on here forever. Um, so let's get into it. Let's start, um, let's start with some eyeshadow because that's always... Okay, so starting with some eyeshadow, what I have in my eyes right now is the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette. This has been a favorite of mine for a couple of months. Um, so it looks something like that. There's some really beautiful shimmers. The mattes are so easy to blend. I'm not really big into using mattes for a whole look, but I actually reach for these mattes a lot. They are really good. The other palette, of course, is talked about a lot, the Modern Renaissance palette. It's very good, very good. They have some beautiful shimmers. You have some amazing berry shades. The browns are super rich and deep. You could create a really pretty look with those. So that's a favorite. If you're looking for something that isn't so berry or pink, you just want like a pretty, um, more neutral look. Besides the Modern Renaissance, I really recommend this e.l.f. palette. This is in the Need It Nude shade. All of these are gorgeous. They have some beautiful shimmers. They're not as highly shimmery as some of the other ones in these are, but they're still very beautiful. They create a nice look. You have a lot of gorgeous nudes, and this one is definitely more um, on the affordable side of things. So that's really nice. What I also like to throw in there, what I have on my um, inner corner right here, is the Stila Magnificent Metals um, Liquid like Glitter Eyeshadow, and this is in Kint Karma. These are incredible. They are like, I think $23, $21 or 23 so they're not cheap, but they really, really pack a punch, and they do have them in a lot of colors, but this one's beautiful as an all over the lid, or just like a pop in that inner corner. I love doing that with this. So those are my eyeshadow picks really good. You can't go wrong with any of these. They all are amazing. All right, so in terms of nail polish, I am big into nail polish. Classic red, of course. Here's a couple options. The one on my hand right now is the Flower Beauty one, and this is in the shade First Bloom. Um, that's what the color looks like right there. It's a very classic red. It's a very thin formula, but it's pigmented, so this was just one coat with a top and base coat, so love that. Otherwise, I'm a huge fan of Butter London. This is a warm red in the shade Ladybird, a very like more like orangey red, and this was a darker red in Pillar Box Red. So that's a bit of a richer, darker red than what I'm wearing, but still very cool toned. So these are amazing. Check your um, TJ Maxx for the Butter London. I get them for like five bucks there instead of the fifteen, because that's a lot for nail polish in my opinion. So yeah, these are all beautiful reds. I have this one on my toes, this one on my hands right now. Can't go wrong. They're all amazing. Ooh. And I did have one pink, and this is the Wet n Wild Wild Shine in the shade Lavender Creme. I do not know why it's named that, but it's a very pretty kind of um, darker pink. This is really pretty if you're going for more of a pink look or you don't like red on yourself. This is a little bit softer. It's very pretty. Okay, in terms of some face products, I kept this pretty simple. Um, so there's not a lot of pink that you put in your face, but blush-wise, I'm wearing these, this um, the Balm Instain blush. Really pretty. This is in the shade Houndstooth. This is like a classic rose shade. It's really, really pretty. Um, these stay on your face for a really long time, so if you're going out or having a game night at home, whatever it is, this will stay on your face really well. I also really like the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in the shade Sunbeam. It's kind of a pinky highlight. It is on my cheeks right now, um, but it's kind of a, a little bit of a pink color to it which I think is really, really pretty on. Um, it looks really good. They do have these in darker shades if you're not as fair as I am. Um, and otherwise, this is the only like not pink or red thing I'm mentioning, but this is an amazing touch-up or like powder to set your face with. This is the Kat Von D Locket Powder Foundation in Light 42. The packaging stunning. So, so pretty. Um, I've already hit pan. I use this to set my makeup most days because I have oily skin. If you have dry skin, that would probably be too much for you. But this is an amazing touch-up powder, too, because it, it's compact, goes in your purse, you have a little, um, I just dropped it, but you have one of those little spongy things to um, touch up with, so this is great if your makeup tends to um, move a little bit, like my nose, I touch up my nose a little bit throughout the day with this, and it works super well, so. I'm in the shade Light 42, if you are wondering, it's one of the lightest shades, but they have a huge shade range for this, so I think you could find something that would work, work really well on your skin. 
and it is extremely like matte. It is full coverage matte kind of thing. So I use a light hand. And I just apply it where I need to really set my makeup, like my nose, my forehead a little bit, or kind of around here. Um, I leave the outside of my face alone because it doesn't really need it. And then this is good throughout the day if anything does start to fade or I need a little more coverage somewhere, this is really good. Okay, so what we've all been waiting for, the very last part of my basket is all lip products. And I have a lot because there's a lot of really gorgeous pink, red colors that you can go with. So we'll start with what's on my lips. Um, I have a combination of this Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Red the Scene. These are really creamy. And then I have the Milani Matte Confident Lipstick on top. This is a super dark, deep, vampy red. It is very matte, it's very deep colored. I really, really like that. And then the Wet n Wild one, this is gonna be a little bit on the lighter side, but it's underneath it, so it doesn't really matter. But it's a very, these are really creamy gel liners. So. Love these. I have three of these already. I'm planning on buying more. They're really, really, really good. And I love the matte lipsticks by Milani. They stay on really well. They look good. There's going to be a little bit of transfer, but it's not bad, and it's much more comfortable than a lot of the matte liquid lipsticks are. So, gotta love those. So, red lipstick-wise, I did have one other lip liner. This is from Bite Beauty. All of their products are food-grade quality, so they're really non-toxic, I would say. So, that's a really good thing. Um, and this is in the shade 078. This one is like a traditional pencil that sharpens, but it's still very creamy, which I was impressed with because I feel like a lot of pencils are not creamy at all. So there's that. Um, other one, this is one of my, arguably my favorite like classic red. This is the Hard Candy Velvet Mousse in Tulip. And this is like a liquid lipstick, but it's very creamy and soft on the lips. I adore this shade. It does dry down a little bit more, but it's very comfy, very pretty. The Bite Beauty lip liner would pair really well with that. Um, if you like a darker red as well, this is the NYX uh, Simply Red Lip Creams in Leading Lady. It's like kind of a chubby stick, and it's very nice. This is like a very pinky, um, almost a little bit more of a pinky berry red. It's very lovely, very creamy. Um, you do want to blot it just a little bit before you leave but it works really well if you do not like a bold red but you want just a touch of red on the lips this is the body shops lipstick in the shade 110 this is just a gorgeous like red nude if that exists it's just a little bit it just has a little bit of that redness to it so if you're looking for something a lot more subtle this is really pretty but it still adds a little bit of that red to your look Okay, and then the two honorable mentions, um, I have a hot pink and a mauvey one. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte, and it's happening. This formula is really good. It's very thin, stays on really well, and it's just a beautiful hot pink. Like, really, really pretty, guys. It's a very gorgeous color, so that's really nice. I found it stays on really well. You don't need a lip liner with it. Same with this next one. This is the Wet n Wild um, Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Rebel Rose, and this is like a perfect mauvey rose shade so I find this is really nice um, if you like if you really only like to wear nudes or something that's a really pretty color very elegant would go with pretty much anything you wear so that's a very versatile nude color I would recommend okay so I hope you enjoyed that that is just my quick overview of my favorite red and pinkish products that I think are just lovely that I love wearing in general reds my favorite color I love it so much and then also just a great one if you're doing anything for Valentine's Day and you want to glam up even if you're just going to work like I will be just wear that red lipstick feel good hope you enjoyed let me know down below what are your favorite red products and if you have any fun plans for Valentine's Day or if you're gonna take a bubble bath let me know down below I'll see you girls in my next video thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day don't forget to like and subscribe for more and click on the videos that will be up on the screen just about now have a good one. Bye.